Hi, my name is Martha Polovich, and I'm here at IMON to talk about the nursing management of extravasation um, injuries. So there are guidelines from several organizations that tell us what are the best ways to management the extravasation of vesicants. The Oncology Nursing Society, or ONS, has guidelines. In collaboration with the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ONS developed also patient safety guidelines that include uh, management of extravasation. And the Infusion Nurses Society in the United States also has guidelines for the management of extravasation. So what do we mean by vesicant extravasation? Well, a vesicant is a drug that has the potential to cause tissue damage if it leaks out of the blood vessels into the surrounding tissues. And so should that happen, that's an accident that requires immediate intervention to minimize the damage that's caused to the tissue of the patients. Patients are at risk for uh, vesicant extravasation, whether they have a peripheral venous access device or a central line for venous access device. We feel fairly confident that central lines will be safer than peripheral lines, but that's not necessarily the case. Patients who have poor peripheral access, we might go for a central line uh, because it would decrease the risk of extravasation. But if there's trouble inserting the line or if it's a port and the needle's not, uh, not totally connected to the device, there's still the risk of vesicant extravasation. There's two main types of damage from uh, vesicants, those that are caused by DNA, uh, drugs that bind DNA, such as anthracyclines, and then those that don't bind the DNA, such as the vinca alkaloids. Patients are usually the first to know if there's an extravasation because they experience burning or stinging or discomfort. And if they report those kinds of symptoms, then you have to uh, interrupt the infusion immediately because it might be signs of an extravasation. So the first thing to do is to stop the infusion. That includes the drug and any fluids that are going along with that. And then consult your protocol to see what the interventions should be. Local treatment includes either heat or cold application depending on the drug that is being uh, infused. And there are a couple of uh, antidotes that can be used to manage extravasation. For uh, anthracycline extravasation, dexrazoxane is an evidence-based intervention or antidote. We also have hyaluronidase for extravasation of vinca alkaloids. So the most important thing is to initiate the interventions as soon as possible, and that is very important to minimize the damage that patients will experience. So a safe way to administer vesicants in your organization is to have a defined protocol for how to manage a extravasation should it happen, uh, that all nurses are trained and educated on how to um, intervene appropriately should there be an extravasation, have access to antidotes so they can be um, in they can be initiated in a timely manner. So the it's also important to teach patients about what the signs and symptoms of extravasation will be, so that they can notify you, so that you can intervene in a timely manner. Thank you.